Thank you so much for joining us again. What a wonderful day we've had so far. Interviewing, of course, my brother and his his beautiful oh, wife, Chandra. So, so sweet. And, mm. and and it's getting even sweeter now because I get to introduce to you a wonderful woman. Her name is Katrina Hunter. Your CEO, your mom, your grandma. But now you've launched this new platform called Conversations with Katrina. Tell me, how did you get this? What was your inspiration behind it? Okay, so one day in my prayer time with God, God was like, okay, it's time for you to come from behind the scenes because I've stayed behind the scenes, behind the curtain for so long. And God's like, it's time to come out. I'm like, no, like, come out of hiding. I, I, no, there, I don't want to. Right, I've been I'm hiding for a you. long time. Why, why are you so hiding? I kind of peeked around the corner. I'm like, I don't want to come from behind the curtain. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's time. And so I was like, okay, what am I going to do? And so he's like, okay, be what you didn't have. Mm. And so I tried years ago to bring a group of women together and I wanted it to be a safe space and I would share some things and I would find out. My husband was like, you over here talking to these women about me, about this? <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is not a safe space. So I shut that down and then I became, I got to a point where I didn't want to talk to people. I kind of mm. just like, me, myself and I, that's all I need. Yeah. And you wanted to go behind the curtain. Oh, I, and I went, went back and I oh. stayed there for years and years and years. But what was it like though, being behind that curtain? Lonely, it yeah, was lonely, but it was person. safe though, very mm. safe. And I was like, okay, if this is safe and comfortable, I can't get hurt. No one can see the real me, being the perfectionist that I am. Mm. They won't be able to see my flaws. Mm. And so I was like, let me just stay here, safe, comfortable and behind the curtain, behind the scenes. Right. But God was like, no, you can no longer stay there. As long as you're safe and comfortable, there's no growth there. Exactly. That's beautiful. And so it was time for me to step out and, and grow and let the world see. Cause I, I've always felt like that I had nothing to share. Mm. But it's like, no, you, your experiences qualified you. Oh, that's yes, so beautiful. And so I'm like, okay, I do have something to share with the world. Right. Okay, so what is my story? What is my story? And so I'm like, okay, there has to be other women out here feeling the same way, feeling mm -hmm. like they don't right. have a safe space right. to to talk Amen. about what's going on. I know we as women, as moms, we kind of focus on our families and our husbands and everybody else. But you. And we, yeah, we don't even put our, we just kind of put ourselves on the back burner and like, oh, I'll be okay. Um, I'm, I'm fine. Right. When ultimately we aren't fine. We no, we're not. We're not. We need each other and We do need together. each other. Need, yes, and the I, community. I think, I think women, we, we can be misfits. We we all have a little bit of us that we don't want the world to see. Oh, it's absolutely. an insecurity. Yes. It's a a fear, which yeah. is a, mm -hmm. as a lie, just to oh tag God. that lie. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right? But, but coming it. together, oh. it helps us to overcome those yes, fears. And absolutely. so I've seen some of your platforms with conversations with Katrina. How have you um, helped motivate women? And what have you seen by coming together and starting this platform? So just as I was a small, intimate group of ladies where we mm -hmm. come together, talk about real life issues. And, and it also gives people opportunity to know that you're not alone mm -hmm. and you're not the only one dealing with this right. thing. Because most times when you're going through something, you think you are the only one. Mm -hmm. And so now people are being vulnerable. They're sharing their stories and their testimonies and their struggles. Right. And someone in the room most times is like, oh, I'm dealing with that same right. thing. Right. Or I've right. dealt with that same right. thing. Exactly. And they're like, oh, I can tell you what I did that helped me. That's beautiful. And so she now we have a community of ladies coming together, work is work, helping each other so we can all uplift each other and right. take it to the next level. And speaking of community of ladies coming, to, ladies coming together, I mean, you're a businesswoman. I mean, this is a great platform that you're reaching out, but you're a businesswoman. You have so many business ventures. What are you working on now? Okay, so we have Tender Smokehouse, and we just opened up our fourth location That's in Little M, amazing. Texas. Yep, come to Tender Smokehouse, so great good. barbecue. So come get good. you some. Yes. <laughs> and also we have Maker's Gym, which is a co-creative space in mm -hmm. downtown Frisco, where people can come in and collab. It has podcast rooms and sound studios and photography studios and things like that. Incredible. And, yeah, we also invested into Urban Hydration, which is a hair care, skin That's care business. Too. So these are things that. I'm kind of like hands on th with, and mm -hmm. there are other businesses that we kind of invested in, but I'm not really hands on or in those businesses. So what's next for you though? Oh, for me? Yes, for you oh, personally. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now that well, you've come out, we want to get it. Yes, uh, I'm, still, I'm still trying to go back. I'm like, <laughs> well, what's not, next? Not, now that the uh, secret's so out. I'm, I'm really not quite sure. I know there's like, there's a podcast on the horizon. There's a book on the horizon. There are things that God has shown me in, in the future, in my vision, very, I'm like, oh Lord, possible. this is so big. And I'm just like, me, I'm mm -hmm. doing these things. And we should note Ooh. that you are the wife of the um, uh, major baseball league's 
player, Tory Hunter. Mm -hmm. And so you've spent your life behind him, really making sure he's okay. Absolutely. And so how does it feel for you now that you know that God has this platform for you? And what would you say to the women that's done the same thing? They've been all behind the scenes and they're afraid of this whisper. What made you push? How did you push? Or should they just come to conversations with Katrina to get to get out? You can do that too. It's, uh, follow me on social media. I got some positive, encouraging things out there yes, to kind of push do. you yes, moving yes. forward. But just. <sighs> It's time. It's time to come from behind the scenes. You have a story to share with the world. Like your experiences mm -hmm. qualify you. If you right. ever feel like you're not enough, you are. You are more than enough. Don't yes. allow your life, your circumstances, your situation to cause you to doubt yourself, to second guess yourself. You are worthy and you are enough. So and it's just time. It's right. Time. And so you finally realize it's time for you. Mm -hmm. Tell tell the viewers uh, what's it like before Katrina before and the Katrina now? Oh, the Katrina before was insecure. She did not use her voice. She was quiet. She dimmed her light. She mm. tried to blend in and be invisible in whatever mm. room she went in. Or, and sometimes she was so insecure that she wouldn't even leave home. She's like, no, I'm good. I don't want to go. I I'm safe in the corner, safe at home. So I would never even step out oh. and go to different things and events and networking events because that I was so insecure and it felt unworthy. And now? And Katrina, now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> listen, Katrina, now. I'm, I'm about to be 50 this year. So I'm yeah, like, yeah, have a party, great. baby, listen. So I'm like, <laughs> I love when I look in the mirror. I love myself. Like, mm -hmm. I love what I see when I look in the mirror. I'm like, I know that I have a story to share with the world. Like, I'm just excited and looking yes. forward to every day. Like, God, who can I touch today? I don't want to miss those opportunities. That is so Because good. I know That's in the so past, I missed so many opportunities so of people that I can connect with, that I can touch, that can bless me. Redeeming the, the time. Absolutely. Yes, so now I'm like, oh, I don't want to miss these opportunities. Right. I'm ready for it. And we don't want to miss it either. So we're going to have Katrina come back on our show as many times as she wants to so we can really motivate you and be positive and continue these conversations. And to continue the conversation, why don't you log on to the Cheryl and Vicki show? So make sure you remember to submit your mom's name for our Mother's Day contest because it's so, so important. Visit our website. We're reading all of your letters and we just say thank you so much. This is Cheryl Jackson for a chance to win our fabulous giveaways again. Visit the Cheryl and Vicki show. And then and I'll leave it with this song quote. What if, I, what if it all depended on me to change the world? What if my only responsibility was to change the world? Let me be the one to start a revolution. My friend Israel Holton, he sung that in the power of one. If you're happy and you know it, be the one and clap your hands.